Anderson to Burns again. Really right on top of his game tonight. Oh yeah, little quicker. Woodcock and Beth. Beth has got it. His first ever goal for Nottingham Forest. But it had to be in the European. One one here in the league. North North of Anfield. And that North North and one nothing to Forest in the League Cup final as Bertles cuts through on his own. The pace and confidence to do it. Not a bad looking cross. Woodcock. And a superb goal. I think Demel started out intending to play the ball, but uh, as you can see, he was late. Kennedy with it quickly to Dalgleish. Good turn, Dalgleish. Oh, Shilton makes it look easy. So I think the first time Cluffy was aware of me and my ramblings and rantings and diatribes on the radio station in Nottingham was when he was driving home from a game <coughs> uh, with, uh, with Nigel, who must have been about 12 years old then. Still unbeaten in the European. Taken on by O'Neill. Good break by Forrest. Bertels on the far side. Can he find him? Phil Neal got out. Bertels! Gary Bertels. Till afterward. Ed called for the long one. And it was accurate. Woodcock, a good ball for O'Hare. He's in a marvellous position. He was tripped. I think Mr Partridge has given the penalty. Robertson versus Clements. But now it is the turn of Nottingham Forest. And Kenny Burns takes the trophy. And who better to lift it to the Forest fans on this night? Because he has been a leader in spirit and by example. and Clough, a partnership that may yet have a long way to go in football and may not have seen by any means the last of the Silverland. Behind them there, young Chris Woods, he did so much at Wembley, played absolutely immaculately again here at Old Trafford. This has been Nottingham Forest's night. My story is, the ball was played, there was no way I could get to it. And I think John, uh, John O'Way would have scored. And I pulled him down, I knew it, it was my only chance to get him. And I, I had to pull him down, it was a professional foul, and I pulled him down, and I know I had to kick him outside the box. I know it sounds bad, but any professional would do it. I brought him down outside the box. What about the penalty? Obvious penalty. I think John would have stuck it in. No, no one's doubting it, surely. Well, on the replay it looked as though it was outside the box. No, definitely well, let's inside. Let's have John yes. in and let's have his story of it. How close were you to it when the, when the trip took place, John? I was quite a bit away, actually, you know. Uh, Left-hand side, Solly went when Tony put it through. Uh -huh. But it looked to me as if it was inside. What was John O'Hare's feeling about it? Well, he said he's certainly inside. Certainly. But your cameras will catch it, surely. Yeah, and I think they yeah. show it outside. Yeah. Mm. That's how it goes, eh? It, yeah. it also shows we've got the cup, that's the main thing. Yeah. Now Woodcock. Oh, he took 
a great save. Can O'Neill turn it back? Can Wiz turn it in? My word, he still hasn't gone out of play. Well, the extraordinary thing is, look, Brian Clough and Peter Taylor sitting on the bench there when you would have thought the managers would have been straight out there to tell their players what they want. Well, I thought I would be, you know, a little bit nervous, than, more nervous than what I was, but when I got out there, when we went out for a walk, I felt, you know, with all the other players around me, it was, you know, a really tremendous feeling. And then when we went out, I was just looking forward to it. That was all. However, 